We weren't supposed to know that because Donald Trump was supposed to be in jail <laughs> or worse. Mm -hmm. Wow, guys, Jessica Teloff is scared that the Republicans are winning in the swing states. You got to check this out. All right. I, I want to go to Jessica first because it seems like this is an emotional issue for you. Uh, but I'm going to go to Greg instead. Ah. Greg, <laughs> I want you to just ponder everything you just heard, Jessica. Uh, how concerned are the Democrats really, or is this just typical Democrats <laughs> freaking out? I do think that you're seeing evidence of the media slowly turning on Harris because not of her politics or her lack of policies, it's that she appears to be losing. Mm. So it's like, that's a different kind of political analysis. It's not like they're equally critical of Trump and Harris. When they criticize Trump, it's because they want him to lose. When they criticize Harris, it's because she's losing. Mm -hmm. They don't want it. Ooh. It's weird, though. You aren't seeing Republicans... They criticize Trump because they want him to lose. They criticize Kamala because she's losing. Isn't that something, you guys? Uh, becoming Democrats. But you're seeing a lot of the reverse, mm -hmm. you know, Hispanics, blacks, young people. And it's because they realize they've been lied to so much about bigger issues. They've been manipulated, whether it was Russian collusion, fine people hoax, uh, drinking bleach, Hunter's laptop. I think they realize that their side, and they're going to find out everybody lies. But right now, they are finding out that their side lies. Mm -hmm. Pretty soon, that, that's the first level of awareness. And then when you get out of there, you're going to see, wow, everybody lies about everything. And then you're going to be free. <laughs> so that's the thing about these Democrats. These Democrats are thinking that these people with the blue party don't lie at all. They're just these clean, perfect people. I'll tell you guys this. Kamala Harris has an Indian accent. She has a black accent. And she has an accent for when she's talking to white people. That's just like a chameleon. She's she's a liar. And you can't play chameleon forever. People are going to eventually start finding out. Guys, don't forget to hit that like button. Let's keep going. That's a true based red pill. But if you look at what the Democrats focus on, it's removed from real life. You know, parents concerned about trans activism, they always side with the activists. They're concerned about men identifying as women in, in, in women's sports. They side with the perverted grifters. When citizens are concerned about gas and, and, and food prices, they say it doesn't exist. Remember that? They said there's no inflation. And when they're concerned about crime, they say it's going down. So it, it, if you look at the two parties, you have one that is living in some fantasy land and another one that is almost obsessed with reality to a fault republicans are obsessed <laughs> like obsessed with reality crime immigration inflation that's as real as life gets dana the polling numbers are still tight they've been tight i've still been confident for quite some time all of a sudden the democrats don't seem confident what has changed i think they're all saying that guys i don't know i don't like when people say what has changed the things to me that have changed are people starting to wake up People are starting to see these people for who they really are. These politicians that they think are going to change for them. Kamala's not going to do anything for you guys. You see when she gets up there and they ask her a question. What are you going to do? I grew up in a middle class family. How many times are you guys going to hear that and not get tired of the same old, what does she call it? The same old playbook. How many times are you guys going to hear that? I'm telling you, Trump wants to take off interest on your cars and make it right off. Make it a write off. Kamala couldn't even fathom saying something like that. And you guys that are going out there to vote blue don't even realize it. She's running a game on you guys, man. And, and I, I really hate to see it because the truth is right there, man. All you guys got to do is just do a little bit of research. The same Let's things we're seeing, which is that the momentum is going in Trump's favor. And part of the reason is because Kamala Harris's media tour is having the inverse effect of what they wanted. The more people see her, the more they're thinking, wait, I don't think I can do this. Um, the numbers are what they are. And for a long time, I've believed that whoever this race ends up being about is the one that's going to lose. Because people know who Trump is. They might not like him, but they know his record. And they might think that, well, at least things were better back then. And if this is my choice and I don't know her, but what I see of her, I'm not confident in, they won't have it. But it's not just the poll numbers. This, this was an Astounding thing I noticed today in all of my reading that I did today. <laughs> do you know how many Democrats are out there saying all these things she needs to do? Here's a small list. I just did this off the top of my head. They say she needs to have another debate. That's not happening. She needs to do more interviews. That's not happening. Uh, 
One said she needs an energy plan. One said she should do more town halls. I know she's got one or two, whatever. They said she needs to have an event specifically for black men. Then she needs to have an event specifically. I'm not going to lie to you guys. They want her to have an event for black men. Me, a black man, I would never vote for Kamala Harris. I'm sorry. I just won't do it. I. That. Yeah, she really already lost the black men vote. <laughs> Let's keep going, guys. There's not much to say about that. Specifically for Latino men. And then she needs to be more act interactive on the ground with uh, the voters. And she needs to do um, more fundraising and on and on. And I, every article I'm reading, it's all the things that she should do that she can do. It's like when Harold would sit here and say, Joe Biden should come out and say this, or he should do this. And he's like, Harold, that's not happening. Yeah, it's true, Harold. Is, this is like three <laughs> None, none of this stuff is happening, and, and I'm not surprised that it's not happening. The reason why people are going out there to vote for Trump is because you already know who this guy is. For one, you already know who this guy is. He's been through hell on earth, right? He's still fighting for us. He's using his own money to run and do his own campaigns. He's not taking no money from you guys. He's trying to give us tax breaks, but people are so confused when they hear this stuff, man, that they don't want to do the research to really try to understand it. But they think Kamala Harris is that lifesaver. I'm here to tell you guys, man, I'm going to keep posting videos like this. She's not that lifesaver you think she is. It's in your face. It's three, yeah, in your face, Harold. You're not even here. Um, there's three weeks left of the campaign. Yeah. When do they think she's going to do this? And I think all of them are doing this right now to be on record mm -hmm. as saying, I told you. Yes. Yep. Right? Charles yep. Blow, for example, in the New York Times today saying these are all the things she needs to do. She's not going to do those. Right. Uh, Jay Mart also in the New York Times, Dan and I. Oh, my gosh. There's a whole. No. It's Huge. No. Um, Political magazine. Same yeah. thing. No, well, no it's not. not. <laughs> oh, it's so close. But I, I was, read the whole thing of all the things that she should do, and that's to get on record because they think she's going to lose right now. So, so, Judge, when when the Democrats are giving advice to the top Democrat, that's when you know they're losing. Well, think about it. She made history by raising a billion dollars in 80 days for mm -hmm. a presidential candidate. That's unbelievable. And that's going to dampen the fundraising, okay? And I understand that it's so close in Pennsylvania that she's going to spend $350 million on ads in Pennsylvania. But here's the thing. We, we talk about there's supposed to be that beautiful blue wall. Um, Kamala was supposed to be the surefire winner. But um, we weren't supposed to know that she couldn't speak or she couldn't respond or she couldn't do an interview. We weren't supposed to know that because Donald Trump was supposed to be in jail <laughs> or worse. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And oh. that was the thinking. We were never supposed to know how inept she is. One second, guys. Listen to that one more time. Was supposed to be in jail <laughs> or worse. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Donald Trump was supposed to be dead, in jail, or worse. I'm telling you guys, that's why people are voting red. <laughs> that was the thinking. We were never supposed to know how inept she is at all of this, whether it's signifying or conveying a sense of empathy. Um, now, also, this whole idea she took for granted, she takes for granted the blacks and the minorities as well as the blue-collar worker. And with the realignment of this group with Republicans, because the Republicans are now the party of the working class, you know, they're not trusting her. She's the one who said the border was secure. You know, she's the one who told them that there's really no inflation. And finally, this whole idea, she's trying to get men back by saying that Emhoff and Waltz, they're really, that's true masculinity. I dare you to take a poll and put together Donald Trump and J.D. Vance against uh, Emhoff and Waltz and ask who's going to win in terms of masculinity. They even have to redefine it. I, Americans aren't feeling it. I don't think you want that competition. People, I mean, he has beautiful eyelashes. Wait a minute. I was about to say something, but wait. They want you guys to believe masculinity these, these days or you, you're comfortable enough to change your gender. Let me say that again. They want you to think masculinity these days is that you're comfortable with changing your gender. Man, let, let, let's keep going. I'm telling you guys, I see right through this stuff these days. Ask who's going to win in terms of masculinity. They even have to redefine it. Americans I, aren't feeling it. I don't think you want that competition. People, I mean, he has beautiful eyelashes, but J.D. Vance looks like he's wearing eyeliner most of the time. But he's not. And how it, dare how you? How dare you? I know, and maybe the he's couch not. story and, was real. So whenever, whenever Jessica Todd doesn't have anything, she's, 
anything to say. She comes on there and she gets personal. We're talking about politics right now. I'm telling you guys, she never has a dog in any fight, but she tries to force her way in there with, with that cat and... And it just get mowed up. <laughs> Let's keep going, guys. You know what? Uh, Rob said he was in, in, you know, carried weapons of war. He was okay. in Bagram. You want Donald to talk Trump about it? of working class fame on his golden toilet. Let's not do this again. So you are correct. The premise of your question, Jesse. We like being scared. We run better when we're scared. This, this is our comfort state, and I'm thankful to be. In and you guys didn't just hear. She just basically said the Democrats are scared. Listen. In, you know, carried weapons of war. He was okay. in Bagram. You want Donald to talk Trump about it? of working class fame on his golden toilet. Right. Let's not do this again. Right here. So you are correct. The premise of your question, Jesse. We like being scared. We run better when we're scared. This this is our comfort state, and I'm thankful to be in. The we got this one in the bag, guys. I'm telling you guys, this election, we got this one in the bag. When this, when, once November 5th comes and we see this, I'm going to throw one of the biggest parties on YouTube to let you guys know who our president is. Let's keep going, guys. Position versus your red wave vibe that you had before it all came crashing Would down. you rather be Donald Trump right now or would you rather would be Kamala Harris? I would never rather be You Donald know what Trump. I'm talking about. In, in this position, would no, you rather be Trump or her? The reason that I would rather be Kamala Harris is that he has to depend on low propensity voters to show up and she has to depend on high propensity voters to show up. She has to convert people to voting for her. She has to get those moderate Republicans. But Donald Trump needs to be on the Joe Rogan circuit or the Andrew Schultz circuit to get people who don't typically show. And that's a steeper challenge. That's my honest answer. I think you like it. You're making a good face. I just can't okay. argue with it because I don't want to. Okay, great. <laughs> So I'll handle it. The, okay. So for all Greg, of will you the, take this one for me? Yeah. For, She's wearing me down. For all of the good news that there has been for Trump, and it definitely has felt like a vibe shift this week, he still only gained 0.3 points in, in the polls. And Nate Silver was tweeting about that today. And there were some really interesting things in the New York Times-Siena poll. So not only was she up four points, and that had been one of her worst polls, but now abortion is in the top three issues. And we know if abortion is in the top three issues, that that favors Democrats. They also found that Kamala has support from 93% of Democrats, but Donald Trump only has support from 80% of Republicans. And but there's more Republicans Democrat, than Democrats. Oh, okay, but actually... I didn't hear what you said, Dana. She said there are more... Republicans than Democrats, and we can talk about that, but it doesn't mean they're necessarily being affiliated doesn't mean that you're going to vote that way. And Blueprint had a new survey out where they found that 36% of Nikki Haley's voters are going to back Harris. Only 49%. I'm sorry, guys. I'm letting you guys, or making you guys sit here and listen to her talk, but guys, I'm, this is a part of the video. And of the Republican Haley voters are going to back Trump down from 64% in 2020. A lot of numbers, Jessica. A lot of numbers. Yeah, that's how elections yep, There might work. be a shy a Kamala right. vote. There, there might be, or a loud one. And like in Wisconsin, where she appeared with Liz Cheney, the biggest group of undecided voters are moderate and Republican-leaning undecided. And so you bring Liz Cheney out there, the Adam Kinzinger's of the world. Oh, God. Oh, oh, is she going to cry? Is he going to cry if she doesn't win? If she's is depending this? on Cheney and Kinzinger, Kinzinger, I think this thing's... What's his name? I'm sorry. Kinzinger. You're not sorry. Kinzinger. No, both of you are it's wrong. It's a hard oh, name to pronounce. It is not. Kinzinger. And it's Jonathan it? Martin, not Jar. Gar. That, that Jar. Gar. Who cares? Yeah, no I'm one sorry. cares it about him. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's your favorite thing to say. I'm not bad sorry. It's true, though. It's Marjorie true. Taylor Greene, who's right, that? Jessica, okay, <laughs> we gave you your time. I'll tell you guys this. I'll tell you guys this right now. I honestly feel bad for her, and I feel like the best outcome, the best thing for her would be to just go over to The View. So she could sit down there for an hour. They can give her smiles, and she could have some people to talk about Donald Trump with. Then, they, then she could be the person beating on people for supporting Trump. She could be that person. Instead of being on there, and they're all picking on you. Because you're on a woke news network, you, not a woke news, you're, you're on a news work, a news network that is spreading the truth. That's what I'm trying to tell you guys. Let me know what you guys think about this video. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe if you're new. And as always, let me know what the react to. We're out.